R O H. R O H. See those three letters. Those three letters, they mean something to me. They mean that all my hard work, all my dedication, the hours spent in cars, on the road, driving 16 hours for $25 just to hop back in that car and drive 16 hours home, all that has finally paid off. See, those three letters, they represent the best wrestling on the face of the planet. See, at Ring of Honor, we do it a little bit differently. See, we hit harder. We run faster. We jump a little bit higher. Most places out there, a man defines a championship. Well, here at Ring of Honor, a championship defines a man. See, the man good enough to wear the Ring of Honor world title can look you right in the eyes and say he's the best in the world. But looking around me, looking around my waist, I don't have a belt. Which means I can't truthfully look at you and say I'm the best. And for a man like me, that's a tough pill to swallow. It's really tough. But see, it's not if Michael Elgin becomes Ring of Honor World Champion. It's not will Michael Elgin become Ring of Honor World Champion. It's when Michael Elgin becomes Ring of Honor World Champion. He is the best. And that brings me to July 14th. See, Milwaukee, it's been a long time since Ring of Honor's come there. And I step in that ring and look across at a man named Silas Young. Silas, see some of the Ring of Honor fans might not be too familiar with you, but I am. I know just how good you are, and that on any given night, you can beat me. The problem is, July 14th, Silas, it isn't any given night. See, when I look at my calendar, I see July 14th, Ring of Honor in Milwaukee. That's on my path to the Ring of Honor world title. See, July 14th, Silas, you don't only find out that Michael Elgin is unbreakable. You find out he's the next world champion.